I like my legacy to be the dominant runner that I was. When he was on top, when he was at his best, no one could touch him. Jeremy just not the run of the mill. He won everything you could possibly do on the collegiate level, indoors, outdoors, to the Olympic Games. Any 20, 21-year-old kid that becomes virtually a millionaire overnight, you're going to have uh, a lot of attention. Coach Hart says it's a money dispute. What happened? You know, a lot of it was, it was a mixture of a lot of things. Every time I'd go in the coach's office, he'd close his door, he wouldn't speak to me. Jeremy was on such a roll at that point, I just thought it was, was such a mistake. That day, I looked at my silver medal, and I didn't want it. Didn't want it at all. Didn't care. When you're getting older and a young gun comes up, beats you, and you've been virtually unbeaten, you got to have a little doubts. Now everyone's saying that I should just retire. I'm no longer the same runner that I was before. Jeremy should go ahead and retire. He needs to go out now. He needs to do this and that. And he could have gone that route. I think the hardest thing for Jeremy is, is accepting that with age comes a change in your body. I don't think I can run the 21 flats through my first 200 like I used to. I just got to get stronger. But Jeremy Warner running his first 800 meters ever. First win since uh, I won U.S. indoors. So it's great to get a win under my belt. I'm having fun on the track. I'm enjoying it again like I used to. Turn it on, Jeremy! Turn it on, Jeremy! So how do you feel, champ? Turn it I think he just believes that he's still got some gas in the tank and I think he wants to prove it.